And Andrew, you've written extensively about Rudy Giuliani. Talk to us about his role now. Well, you know, President Trump is not the only person who's watching his power slip away. Giuliani's relevance, his finances are uh, all tied up in his access to power to the White House. And so, you know, while other others in the White House, you know, are urging Trump to throw in the towel, Giuliani's, you know, Giuliani's holding on to power by a thread. And he's, you know, he's, he's happy to throw gas on the fire. And so he's, you know, he's throwing spaghetti against the wall, trying every possible means to, uh, to reverse the outcome of the election. It's, you know, it's an interesting situation. I mean, Giuliani is, uh, is not a shy person when it comes to tactics like this. And it looks, from what I understand, is that uh, no other lawyer really wants to try this anymore. <laughs> and so uh, Giuliani, he stepped in. He has not argued a case, as far as I know, since the 1980s when he was a celebrated prosecutor. But that was a long time ago. Yeah, the decades ago. And so is he being, you know, is he handsomely compensated for his work? <laughs> well, according to the New York Times, he's asking for $20,000 a day. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of money. But, uh, you know, that's a perfect distillation of what I was saying, is that everything that Giuliani uh, has in terms of uh, relevance and um, his influence and finances are tied to Donald Trump. And so uh, this is just one more example of how, you know, it's, it's in his best interest to try to keep the Trump presidency alive, no matter how um, distant the possibility of that is.